As you know, I'm going back and forth between LA and Germany right now. So whenever I am here, I am under a lot of pressure to finish as much as I can. And for this time, I had the goal to finish the hallway so that when I come back next time, I'm not faced with this, oh my God, what a, what a construction site. I am facing, oh, you know, this is potential. This is what this could be. There's, there's hope here. And I think I met this goal. But Felix, you're the first one to see it. Oh, yes. Excellent. Thank you. Ich habe es nicht geputzt, ne? Ach. Wow. Tada! Tada! <lacht> Geil. Yeah, you know a couple of the things. You saw this. Yes. You saw the windows, but not the oh, last one. Oh, wow. Yeah. So much better. So much better, right? So much better. Oh. Nice. I finished okay. the ceiling. Yes. Sure. The wall behind you. Yes, I took out the frame. Mm -hmm. If you remember from the last video, there was still the old frame and I thought it might be cool because obviously this is going to be mm -hmm. like not a bookshelf, but I was picturing maybe some artifacts from the house, mm -hmm. some photos from the team. I don't know. A mini gallery. A mini gallery. Mm -hmm. Nice. Some light. Um, Perfect. And I wanted to build it in the old frame, mm -hmm. especially after we finished the windows um, and I saw how busy this is. I realized we don't need any further distractions. So I took out the frame and I put some clay on it, reinforced it. And my goal was, that's the only thing I didn't do. My goal was to put the Yosima stuff on it, but I couldn't do it yesterday because as you can see, it's still not all the way dry mm -hmm. and if you put the Yosima over that it will crack and I didn't want to risk that. But now imagine this in the same color as mm. this. Oh yes, that's good. And then maybe some wooden shelves or a sculpture or something. I think it will look so clean and nice and give all the emphasis on the windows. And I framed oh, yes. this wall. So there will be one more layer, but that's that's details. That's not, okay, I'm always focusing on the things <laughs> I didn't do, but what I did do is I decided to leave this one original wall intact with the old colors. You can see where the wallpaper was. I think it looks beautiful, especially if there's some oil on this, mm -hmm. all the colors will pop even more. And then I just framed it to cover the parts that were just too destroyed. So this has a logical framing. And then this is the hallway. And I'm super happy with it. Super happy. Of course, there's still stuff to do. We need to work on the floor. We need to oil all the beams that will make it look even better. But for now, this is a good stage for me to go back to LA. And when I come back in a month, mm -hmm. I will you know yes enter this oh, vision into what the house can be yeah because before i always entered something like this <laughs> <laughs> no different no not at all so that feels great that feels great speaking of la let's talk about it you want to talk about it here sure Last summer I told you that I'm going back and forth between LA and Germany and I still want to finish the house and all that is true. Now the interesting thing is, until now I did not have my work visa so I couldn't really do anything in LA. Um, and that's why you haven't heard much about it. But now I do have my work visa and that means now that I go back to LA, I can make videos about my new shop there, about the tools that I want to work with, about the things like there's a lot of exciting stuff happening. Um, I'm so excited. Me too. Oh, wow. And I'm so excited because it's part uh, development. Mm -hmm. It's something completely new. And also part going back to where I got started with documenting myself, working mm -hmm. in a shop, having smaller projects instead of working on this giant project. 
So I think this is going to be really good for me because the last two years have only been about the house and I really, really missed having these smaller, more manageable projects, mm -hmm. uh, projects where I feel confident because even though we're, ma we're managing this, mm -hmm. it's not my strong suit. It's not my wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. I want to build little things and design things and make little inventions mm -hmm. and less serious things than the house. And I'm also very, very excited to document building up a shop again. I got started a little bit, but now... Can you tell us a little bit about... Yeah, uh, yeah? I have a new shop. Uh -huh. It's not giant. I think it's decent sized, maybe a little bigger than a two car garage. Um, it's on the countryside. It's not in the middle of LA, which mm -hmm. I am so excited about. It's where Cacti ca cactuses, cacti, I, have like two arms. Okay. You know? <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> and I already saw a tumbleweed. <gasps> it's, it's the desert. It's lovely. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I'm starting with zero, starting with electricity. So I think this is going to be so interesting because I've never done that, starting mm -hmm. with zero. And I also never did it for my own shop. It was never my shop. I was ah. always renting it. And that's going to be a difference too, I think. It, it's a different decision if it's mm -hmm. yours or not. Sure. I also, I'm getting a new tool that I never had before. Okay. Well, I actually had it, but I never used it. And no, it's not a CNC. Ah. No, it's not a 3D printer. Never yeah. had a 3D printer. No, no. But that will change the, 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 the projects that I'm doing quite a lot. I'm excited about that. And um, I am mostly excited about the back and forth between those two worlds. Mm. We will finish the house. You sure. will see Lisa Lotte content. Felix and I will work together. Janine and I were always working together. But there's also this new side now mm -hmm. that I will and want to document on this channel, which is both back to the roots and starting a whole new thing. And I am very pumped about it. So hopefully next week, I don't know how fast I get to turn things around. <laughs> Maybe I do a live stream with Simone or something to give me a little bit of buffer time, but you will see my new shop probably next week. I'll try to, I'll try to be as fast as I can. Yeah. And until then, go watch Felix's stuff because he has more time <laughs> <laughs> to do his project now. Pressure is on. Uh, pressure is on. I'm not there to, to keep him occupied. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm excited to come back in a month. It's, it's not, I'm not there forever. I'm there for a month and then back for a month and then I'll be in LA for the whole summer. So for now, it's just a short trip. Um, and then the next time I'm back, we will tackle the upper story of the house. Mm -hmm. We will finish the roof. We haven't really talked about it, right? No. Finishing this roof was so much work. Leo, Justus and Vera um, worked on it for two weeks. And what this is, is the preparation for the next blow-in insulation. We insulated the roof from the top and now we created this hollow space and then we'll blow in more insulation in that hollow space and then the roof will be like this thick. Same as the walls. I think once this is done, a single fart mm -hmm. will heat the whole house. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like if, if Smudo's in the house, it will be warm. I don't even need heating. It's gonna be <laughs> fine. Again, like that was so much work. You don't really see it, but it was so time in intense. All the little pieces they had to work around and the beams, you see it up there? Yes. It's all taped and cut and oh, so much work. But that's coming next week. The cool big machine with the long hose is coming back. Mm -hmm. We're going to blow this in. Then in the meantime, while I'm not here, the electrician will do his thing and start cabling and wiring all of the upper story which means when I'm back, we can do the clay walls up here, reinforce everything, maybe even get started a little bit on the bathroom. Mm, nice. And that's the, I mean, I think doing the clay walls up here is enough for a couple weeks, but that will mean we're taking major steps mm -hmm. to finishing this house. Probably won't be finished this year, but maybe next year in the summertime. 
we can do an open house. Sure. Let me know in the comments. Would you come <laughs> if there's an open house? <laughs> how many? How many? How much toilet paper and how, how many drinks do we need <laughs> if we do an open house at least a lot? Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> how much sandwich toast we need? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's bring the sandwich toaster back. That's great. So yeah, lots of exciting things happening. Um, you can probably tell I'm super exhausted from the four weeks hardcore working on the house, also working on the kids TV show. We're also doing Felix just shooting that as well. So he's been working nonstop as well. Um, I'm ready for a little break. Mm -hmm. You too, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this journey. Uh, I hope you will follow me along with the LA stuff. I am, I am super pumped about it. And until then, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying not being in the house Lisa Lotte for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and I'll see you next week with a new video, probably from LA. Woohoo! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Pretty much everything I know about rescuing a house, I learned by actually doing it. I think it's safe to say that I'm a practical learner. If I read about something, I instantly forget it. But if I do something, I usually remember and understand it. And today's sponsor, Brilliant.org, has a very, very similar approach. Because Brilliant is where you learn by doing with thousands of lessons in math, data programming, and also AI. It's so good because the team working on the content of Brilliant, they're award-winning teachers, professionals of the industry working for Caltech, MIT, Microsoft, Google, and many, many more. Another parallel to my own job is that Brilliant is kind of teaching you to be a critical thinker through practicing problem-solving skills. And that is essentially what I do in the house every day. And instead of um, like learning at school where you sit down and have to study for hours and hours, which was never my thing, Brilliant just does a couple minutes a day. Instead of mindless scrolling, you do a little bit, which then adds up to quite a effective learning streak over a week or so. Let's do our lesson. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm always a little bit like, Okay, what is it today? Mm. Thinking in code. Uh oh, I think this is where I dropped the ball. Continue. Select the street to create a single shortest path that will lead the car to its destination. Oh, well, that sounds doable. I'd say here, here, and then it's there, right? Would that be shorter? No, I don't think so. Correct. Did you see that, Felix? Sure. I'm a computer programmer. <laughs> <laughs> I could continue now, but I like to stop when I'm winning. So let's save the next one for the next lesson. All right. If you want to try everything that Brilliant has to offer, you can click the link in the description or you can go to the URL brilliant.org slash or you can scan this QR code and you can also get 20% off of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I wanna thank Brilliant for supporting my work.